Hello, welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Elliot Morgan. Let's get started. The sun is about to flip its poles, people, and you can't do nothing about it. Yeah, so don't you go around trying to tell that burning ball of gas what to do. Yeah, our special little star makes its own decisions, and it does what it wants. Every 11 years or so, our majestic sun decides to give itself a magnetic makeover. Because even the sun doesn't want to just sit there and burn complacently. So what happens is that the sun's magnetic field flips, and then the poles do a little switcheroo. Sun scientists admit they don't fully understand why all this happens, because it's the frickin' sun. <laughs> but solar physicist Phil Schur says the sun's polar magnetic fields weaken, go to zero, and then emerge again with the opposite polarity. This is a regular part of the solar cycle. And this time around, the 11 year flip is piling on another big fat scoop of mystery on top of our ice cream sundae of things we don't quite understand. Mm. Confusing. Mm. I can't figure I out this flavor. Mm. Enticing. It's a mystery mm. to me. Hypotheses. Unsolved mysteries. Apparently one of the poles already went and flipped itself last year, and now the other pole is playing an oh-so-fun game of catch-up. And now, I'm sure many of you, like myself, are wondering, what does this mean for us? Because it's about me. Will we burn into sun-charred, flaky former versions of ourselves? Will our cosmic heat source cease production of its golden rays of life-giving warmth? No. But it does coincide with the solar maximum, which is the most baller solar activity. Yeah, the sun's gonna get crazy. It's gonna get its Courtney love on. There's gonna be all sorts of sunspots and coronal mass ejections. Yeah, and sun rays. Those are rays on the sun, attended by the sun people. With their little light sticks. You can't see them because the sun's light totally just overpowers them. It's too loud there. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. Uh, the full flip should complete itself over the next three to four months, and it's just gonna blast all kinds of freaking cosmic rays out into the universe, and the magnetic shift will be felt across our galaxy, like all the way to the outer edge of interstellar space. Cool. And we should be treated to some pretty spectacular northern light shows. Ooh, pretty. Hey, what's the coolest thing you've seen while gazing up into the heavens? Let us know in the comment section down below. I once saw a shooting star fly right over the screen while I was at the drive-in once. That sounds like some sort of a commercial. It was perfect. So see if you can top Joe's story in the comment section down below. And also while you're down there, please click that like button. Please click that subscribe button. Please click that annotation. My name is Elliot Morgan. My name is Joe Beretta. Before we go, I want to point out one more thing. We got a new poster. Maybe you guys should uh, pick it up. Look, Joe and I, Lee's not in here, but Joe and I can recreate it. What am I doing in that one? I'm like this. And there's like a Lee right here. It's not, yeah, just imagine. I'll just show him the picture. Yeah, there, there it is. Go. Okay. Editing. Bye. Cool. Thanks for watching SourceFed.